Hey YouTube! Have you ever been in a situation where you were trying to get something level but the level was too big to fit into the spot that you're trying to make level? You know, even one of these small levels here, uh, it's just, they're just too big and bulky. Well, this is where this product here is going to be a lifesaver. This is the Calculated Industries AccuMaster Digital Angle Gauge. And uh, I, what can I say about this product? I mean, it is super, super tiny. It looks like a kid's toy. I'm not even going to lie. This thing is like uh, two and a quarter inches wide, two and a quarter inches tall, and an inch and a quarter thick. So, I mean, com you can see compared to my hand, this thing just... It just fits right in the palm of your hand. I mean, when I seen the uh, little bitty pouch that it comes with, with the little belt loop on the back, I was like, this looks like a little toy that you would give a child. But then the more that I played around with it, I thought, man, that is a really, really handy tool to have. And so uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna run you through uh, just a few things that uh, you could use this for because uh, there's several other good videos on this and uh, anyways I'm gonna try to do a few little things different than what they've touched on so uh, just hang with me all right guys um, this little level is just really handy as you've seen in some of the other videos uh, a lot of guys are are using these in their wood shop to set up uh, the um, the blades on their table saw or their miter saw or you know uh, any kind of saw that you want the uh, blades to be at a uh, a perfect angle uh, this is just really easy because uh, it's magnetic here on the bottom so you could stick it to a blade and I'll kind of just show the show you right here on this little uh, battery powered miter saw that I have and uh, you know it's you can tell my table is a little uneven and I'm trying to get it, my phone in here to uh, give you a good view. But uh, you can tell my table's a little bit uneven. Plus, uh, you can reset uh, this little, little gauge to uh, recalibrate itself if you wanted to uh, um, calibrate it to the actual miter saw here. Uh, you can... Um, I believe you just hold down the on and off button and the hold button at the same time and it recalibrates itself. But uh, uh, you, you could also use this little level to set pinion angles on a, let's say on a rear differential on a car. That would be really handy. Uh, and it's really, really good to uh, use to uh, set up and level appliances because um, it sticks to the stainless steel. And you can see, just be careful when you stick it on there because you don't wanna scratch somebody's stainless fridge. But if you put it on there real gentle, it'll be, it'll be fine. You could even take and put a piece of scotch tape underneath the bottom part where the magnet is if you wanted to. But uh, you can see my, mine's just a little, uh, unlevel I need to to level it up but uh, you know at least you know that it sticks to stainless appliances it even it sticks to the stove and uh, let's check it sticks on the dishwasher as well so yeah if uh, if you need a, a level to level up your appliances this, this is going to be the one to get that way you're not trying to uh, level it with the adjusters down below and then trying to hold the uh, trying to hold a level like this up against the the side of the refrigerator while you know um, you're adjusting the levelers down below so it just makes it so much easier one cool feature about this level is um, let's say you're working in this position, but then you need to flip it over to go to another position. You can see that it automatically flips the uh, the number over so you can read it from upside down. Now, I think that is a really, really cool feature. So, you know, depending on 
where you're using this thing. They've tried to make it really handy for the user. And uh, that's really, that's really cool. Um, now it takes two AAA batteries. So everybody's usually got some of these laying around the house. You know, most remote controls, you know, take a AAA. So, you know, uh, you're never not going to be without uh, a couple batteries that you couldn't borrow for just a second to put in it. Now, one uh, place that I think that this product would be absolutely amazing and would be building, um, uh, let's say, uh, like utility trailers or doing any kind of metal work because, um, you know, you, like I said, you just can't get a normal size level into these uh, tight places where this one is just so small that, you know, if you're, if you're trying to find the right angle uh, to weld something in place, I think this would be a great, great product. Now, you know, I'm not saying um, sit there and weld with it and melt the screen off of it. And, uh, but, you know, as long as you kept it away from the getting real hot, that I believe it would be, would be fine, even though this is, it is plastic. And in one of the other reviews, uh, I seen the guy, he was mashing on the screen. He said, oh, I don't like this because it felt a little flimsy on the screen. Well, um, that's not the case at all. It's just like a uh, protective uh, screen. That's not the actual screen right here that you're pressing on. That's just like a little piece of protective clear plastic. The uh, actual screen is further on down there. So he said in the video that if he dropped it on an angle or something that it could uh, damage this. And I really don't foresee that being the case because the if you look like I said if you look right in there you can see that there's a good eighth of an inch or maybe more but before you even get to the actual actual readout in there so anyways these guys have have uh, done their homework on this thing and it's just a really cool product uh, I like the fact that the uh, screen is really bright that makes it easy to read and um so I'm not going to go through all the features because there's just so many other videos out there. But, uh, you know, if you're an appliance guy, uh, definitely check this product out. Or if you're working a metal fabrication shop, uh, this is probably going to be one of your, your favorite new tools. Or if you're working in a woodworking shop and you want to set up any of your saw blades for, for certain angles, uh, this is just a quick way to set it up and, uh, you know, if you're working on like, a, let's say, a uh, metal door, you know, I mean, if you're setting the door and trying to make it level, you know, hey, this thing will stick, you know. So anyways, guys, there's just thousands of different uses for this thing. I'm not going to go over everything, but uh, anyways, uh, check it out. It really, really does uh, help get rid of a lot of these other levels. You know, you, you just really don't need them all. Um, you know, if you have something like this, you know, it really does cut down on a lot of tools that you'd need. So, and it's really accurate. So I have checked it. And uh, anyways, so I definitely recommend this product. And, you know, if you're in the appliance business, um, check out uh, my other video uh, that has the air shim. I showed you in one of the other videos, um, here's the air shim. And basically you just you pump this little bulb up right there and it inflates this little air bladder and uh, you can uh, use it to adjust appliances. So check out my other video, I'll link it to this video. But hey, if you had this product and this product, uh, you'd be pretty set as far as uh, leveling appliances because they, they just work great together. So anyways, guys, I'm not going to keep rambling on it. And uh, you guys get an idea. But uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if there's a tool that you want to see me uh, do a review on, um, just put it in the comments. And uh, I'll try to do a review on it. And uh, you guys have a good day. Bye.